DSWD or Department of Social at Welfare Development Secretary Erwin Tulfo ay sumalang sa harapan ng CA or Commission on Appointments para tanungin sa mga dokumentong nakalap ng CA. Inisaysa ang mga isyu tungkol sa love life at ang pagiging American citizen ni Erwin Tulfo at sa mga kasong libel na kinaharap niya. Na, uh, there were four women who are the mothers of your uh, children. Are you still in good terms with the mothers? We separated, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, uh, we're in good terms. Uh, we're in talking terms, and including all my children. Uh, some of them are the United States, and uh, some are here. si Erwin kung may tuturing niya ba itong love life at hindi daw ba ito makakaapekto sa kanyang trabaho bilang DSWD, dahil so, marami pang babae siyang makakasalamuha at makikilala. Uh, the moment you're the secretary of DSWD, and. Uh, I suppose you'll be meeting a lot of women in your line of work. Hindi po ba magiging sa gabal sa trabaho mo yun na marami kang makikit makikilalang babae? When we we are young, sir, uh, we make mistakes. Eh? I mean, uh, but I'm not ashamed uh, to to say that I made mistakes. And from that mistake, you have to make corrections and adjust. And uh, and you have to bring it all the way until uh, you grow old. Sa mga nakuhang dokumento ng CA ay naging enlisted personnel ng U.S. Army si Erwin Tulfo hanggang taong 1988 kaya naitanong ito ng mga kongresista. Humingi si Tulfo ng executive sessions para mas masagot niya ng maayos ang isyu tungkol sa citizenship niya at libel case. What is the status of your citizenship when you were enlisted uh, member of the U.S. Army and when you serve as... Uh, an active military service station in Europe. I would like to ask for an executive session on, on this matter. Pero bago pa mag-close door ang hearing session ay inusisa na rin ang guilty verdict sa mga libel na isinampa kay Tulfo. That uh, case uh, is related to my uh, profession as a journalist, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, there was a conviction that that's correct, but it is uh, because of uh, my line of work as a journalist. It's a, it's a libel, uh, four counts of libel. Same individual, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Well, I was a columnist and I write a story about the person, uh, about the government official, actually. Sa kaso naman ng citizenship, sinabi ni Tulfo na naging American citizen siya simula taong 1986 hanggang taong 1988 at kumalas siya sa pagiging American citizen sa kasalukuyang taong 2022. Sinabi rin ni Tulfo na handa siyang tanggapin kung ano ang magiging desisyon ng CA kung anong magiging katayuan niya, ganyan talaga parte yan ng buhay na ating pagdadaanan ayon kay Tulfo. It's part of life right now. I mean, it's in their hands. I mean, the decision will be in their hands, not in mine. So... Kung kayo ang magdedesisyon mga kababayan, titingin ba kayo sa mga nagawang mali ni Erwin Tulfo? O pagtutuunan natin ng pansin ang mga nagawa ni Tulfo at ang mga magagawa pa niya sa ating bayan? Siguradong tuwang-tuwa ang mga pasaway na binabangga ng walang takot ni Erwin Tulfo. Eto po si Cool DJ27 na laging nagsasabing lagi po tayong mag-iingat at huwag basta maghusga sa ating kapwa. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po.